Hello friends, today I will be discussing about how drinking alcohol causes cancer although it is not a carcinogen in itself. Squamosal cancer constitutes the most common head and neck malignancy and is related to tobacco and or alcohol uses. Squamosal carcinoma of head and neck consists of cancer of oral cavity, oropharynx, larynx and hypopharynx, nasopharynx, nasal cavity and parental sinuses. Non squamous malignancy includes thyroid cancer, cerebral gland cancer, and sarcomas. These non squamous cell malignancy are not associated with tobacco and or alcohol uses. The two most important factors in the etiology of squamous cell cancer of head and neck are tobacco and alcohol. Although alcohol is not a carcinogen itself, it is believed to act in a synergistic fashion with tobacco to cause cancer. The possible mechanisms includes one is alcohol may act as a solvent increasing the cellular permeability of tobacco carcinogens through the mucosa of upper erodigestive tract. The non-alcohol constituents of various alcoholic beverages may have carcinogenic activities. The immediate metabolite of ethanol is acetaldehyde and this may have a locally damaging effect on cells. Chronic alcohol use may upregulate the enzymes of the cytochrome P450 system which may result in the activation of procarcinogens into carcinogens. Alcohol can also decrease the activity of DNA repair enzymes resulting in increased chromosomal damage. Alcohol impairs immunity due to a reduction in T cell number, decreasing mitogenic activity and macrophage activity. Alcohol is high in calories which suppresses appetite in heavy drinkers. Metabolism is further damaged by liver disease resulting in nutritional deficiencies and therefore lower resistance to cancer. My reference is Scott Brown's Otorhinolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery 8th edition. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.